Companies involved with drugs and money are uh, on the uh, radar for our growth and income stock picks this time around. Todd Bunton, our growth and income stock strategist, is going to tell us more about it. So before everybody gets worried out there, uh, on the drug side, we've got Walgreens, Yeah, right? Yeah, you made it sound a little more interesting than, than I think it really is. But so yeah. we do in the news business. <laughs> yeah, Walgreens, they're, they are the largest pharmacy re retailer in the U.S. They operate about 8,200 drug stores in all 50 states. They're in the U.S. territories, D.C. Uh, but the company uh, recently delivered uh, solid fourth quarter results for their fiscal 13. Mm -hmm. They also re just just today being uh, being Tuesday December 4 or sorry Wednesday December 4th right. uh, reported better than expected November sales. So they've been seeing solid uh, you know mid single digit sales growth. Mm -hmm. They've been able to turn that into double digit earnings growth through operating leverage. So you know they've always had a focus on efficiency and improving the bottom line mm -hmm. and uh, and they continue to do that here. Uh, they're currently a Zach's rank of two, which is a buy rating as analysts have modestly revised their estimates higher over the last 60 days. And if you look at consensus estimates, analysts expect about 14% uh, earnings per share growth this year and 11% growth next year. So good, solid double-digit growth story here. Obviously, you know, being in, uh, in, pharmacy, in the pharmacy sales, they've got a nice tailwind with them with an aging U.S. population. So you can expect solid, stable growth from this company over the next few years. On a, in addition to that, they pay dividend yields 2.1%. And if you take a look, going back to the year 2000, they've increased their dividend at an 18% compound annual growth rate, which that's absolutely phenomenal. If you think about it, that means their dividend doubles about every four years. Wow. So yeah, nice solid 2.1% uh, yield. Uh, again, you know, very solid uh, free cash flow generator, very shareholder friendly. So I'd expect that dividend to continue over the next few years, especially as they grow their bottom line. So you, you get uh, growth here, you get income here, all at a pretty reasonable price. Um, they trade about 16 times forward earnings. That's in line with their, uh, with their peers. And if you look, their stock has, has soared about 75% over the last 12 months. But despite that, they have very reasonable valuation. So, you know, so, you know the value investor in me says, you know, oh, a stock that's almost doubled in a year, you, you want to shy away from. But yeah, again, the valuation, because of rising earnings estimates and solid earnings growth, just 16 times, that's pretty reasonable to go along with the solid growth and in income metrics. Is there any location left that they can put another store in that they haven't already? Is, well, yeah, they've got a lot of pretty stores saturated in the U.S. market. Yeah, yeah. so international is definitely a big uh, growth opportunity for them. Okay, uh, and on the money side of the uh, ledger, uh, Pacific Continental Corporation, which is a bank. Yeah, yeah, and they're focused more on commercial lending. They're headquartered in Oregon. They have uh, about 14 branches, so they're a small cap bank. Uh, but they, they are in Seattle markets in Washington, uh, they're in Portland and Eugene, Oregon. And they've, they've seen very solid loan growth, organic loan growth over the last several quarters and improving credit quality. And that's helped them to not miss earnings estimates in 11 straight quarters. So mm. they've delivered either a, a beat or a meet uh, for almost three straight years. So, so very good uh, earnings momentum there. And if you take a look at, at consensus estimates over the last several months, you can see a nice kind of stair step pattern higher. Uh, it's a Zach's rank of two, which is a buy rating. And based on consensus estimates, analysts expect about 15% earnings growth from them in 2013, 16% growth uh, next year. And in addition to that, they pay a dividend that yields 2.8%. And that's just their regular quarterly dividend. And it's interesting, they paid uh, a, a special dividend in each of the last four quarters. And if you tally that up, that's just in special dividends, they've paid about a 2.5% yield. Uh, this year special, based on their stock price. Special dividend because they just had too much money laying around? Or? Yeah, I guess. they. <laughs> yeah, very shareholder friendly and they're very well capitalized as a bank so they're able to return, you know, retained earnings to shareholders there. Mm -hmm. um, it, it's very unique to see a bank continually re doing uh, special dividends but in addition to that they've r raised their quarterly dividend too so it's a very income focused right. uh, here. And again, you got the growth metrics and all that at a reasonable price. They trade at 16 times forward earnings. That's also in line with the industry average. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot to like here as well. All right. Do you own either of these? I do not. Well, check out other stock picks and stock picking strategies on Zacks.com's website. If you're not there already watching this video, get on over there. You can uh, see them. There are many of them right on the home page. With Todd, I'm Terry Ruffalo.